if you like me, you encountering this issue where you don't have your software control connected to your computer, I mean to your ATEM. What you want to do is to disconnect all the cables. Every cable that you have in a bike, disconnect all of them. It's the same principle for all of them. ATEM Mini Pro, ISO Pro, ISO Sound Pro, something, something. <laughs> it's all the same thing, okay? So I have a uh, ATEM Mini Extreme Pro ISO something. So the way it goes is that you disconnect the power. So notice that you have all the cable disconnected, okay? All the cable has to be disconnected. Now on the back here, you have a port here that says if you have the same like this and you have two USB port, you want to have, do you want to use the one that says USB B, okay? So what you do is that as you plug in your power, you hold down the on button over here. You hold down this one. So first, you have to hold down the button here as you plug in the power. And then you will have something like that, this blinking and your power is plugged in. So you hold down the button first as you plug in the power. Now at this point, you want to connect your USB cable to the USB-C that says and that reads USB B, okay? Not the A, the one that says B because you want your computer to recognize it. Next thing you go to your computer, and over here, you don't want to open the ATEM control. You rather want to open the ATEM setup. So look for your ATEM setup. That would be this one that you want to click on. So once you click on, you will see this one popping up on your screen. What you do now, you click here. And you will say update required. So you click on update. And you're going to update refresh to put the factory default your item and by the time the ad update completes it will just shut down and bring everything back up notice i have all the cable disconnected there you go so you all fresh just like a a new baby and on your screen you can now hit on done and you're gonna click on your item here to open your software control. Now you're all connected again. And you wanna go now on the file and you want to click on clear setup state. And you're all ready to set up your new system. So if for some reason you're not connecting and then you see that you're not connecting and you can control your uh, item device, what you want to do is to get into the um, software control, the item setup. Okay, so again, the item setup looks like this. That's the one that you want to look for, this one over here. So once you have this one on, you will go under this button over here and you want to make sure that it goes first on DHCP, DHCP okay so this way you go in and you save this you restart, restart everything you unplug and restart your ATEM you come back and you will be able to see that it's not connected on DHCP you can see here the address IP address change at that point you can now change it manually and put it inside your data or whatever info and hit on save and once you do that you click on software control and you will be able now to see and control your device right here so that's how you solve the issue if you have any question let me know in the comment and i will answer thank you bye bye Now, to set up your ATEM and probably to put it as a uh, control, to control the, um, the admin through Ethernet or Ethernet in USB, you want to go on the menu and you go under connection. 
and other connection you want to go on item setup and when it brings the setup up right here what you want to go you want to go here you click on this one you want to make sure that your usb is connected to your item and you can see here you can easily go and select static ip that's what i do and you want to select over here allow utility administration via usb and internet and you are good and when you're done you just click on save and now you're ready to utilize and control your atem by internet through your network thank you for watching bye, -bye.